हेलो वेलकम टू एवरीवन इन दिस वीडियो टुडे इज द पार्ट फोर ऑफ दिस सीरीज वी एक्चुअली डिस्कस सम इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक थियोरेटिकल क्वेश्चन फॉर सेमेस्टर फाइव ओके यू कैन सी दिस इज से कंसीडर ए कोएक्सियल केबिल ऑफ नेग्लिजेबल रेजिस्टेंस इन दिस केबिल इंसर्टेड ए सोर्स कॉन्स्टेंट दिस इज अ वोल्टेज सोर्स एंड ई एम लोड रेजिस्टेंस आर दिस इज रेजिस्टेंस आर You can write here. This resistance is R, and there is a current, uh, steady current I flow. The EMF is written V. What is the power supplied in this cable? Power is nothing but I V. If the inner radius is A and outer radius B, then find the value of E and B in this region within that region. From Gauss theorem, you know E dot dS equal to Q n close by epsilon naught. So e into 2 pi l lambda l. So this is the electric field, and the potential is nothing but a to b e b. So this is the potential from here. You can substitute the lambda because there is no lambda given here. So if you substitute this lambda, you can easily find out the electric field in terms of the applied EMF. Okay, and if you apply the ampere circuital law, then you can finally obtain this magnetic field. Now we need to find out question number three, which says the find the uh, pointing vector. This is the pointing vector, and now calculate this integration and then find out the total electromagnetic power. So if you integrating this integration, uh, then you will find out this V I. So this is uh, satisfy this previous one, right? So I think you can do this calculation very easy. Next question, which says a long uh, coaxial cable of length L. Inner conductor radius A and outer is radius B. It is connected to a battery one end and resistance in another end. There is a connecting in one end and another end is connected with resistance. The before one similar to before one. The inner conductor carries a uniform charge per unit length lambda and current carrying I in the right. This is right direction and the outer in the uh, opposite charge and current. Opposite charge and current. So this is positive. So this must be negative. What is the electromagnetic moment stored in this field? So electric field at regions uh, distance R as before obtained is, and this is the magnetic field. So pointing vector is like that. So energy flow between this is nothing but the integration. Okay. So the moment of this field is nothing but mu naught epsilon naught this. So if you integrate, you will be obtain this answer. Okay. Next things is a current I is made to increase in the winding a long solenoid very slowly. The solenoid has the resistance R, length L, sorry radius R, length L and n per unit length. Write down the expression for the energy. Energy is nothing but half L I square. Then if you want to find out the d <coughs> rate change of u, so d u d t is like that. And then Faraday's law. If you use this Faraday's law, you will obtain electric field and find out the spontaneous pointing vector is like that. And uh, calculate the lateral surface. Along the lateral surface, electric flux will be like that, but magnetic flux is zero because this magnetic field and this uh, surface is perpendicular to each other, and the flux is like that. Okay. Next thing is consider a uniform, uh, infinitely long solenoid of n turns per unit length. Carrying current and this is the current. So this is from electromagnetic in, uh, induction. This is the formula and this E dot d L. So if you just continue, you will be obtained this electric field. This is the question of Falcon Technology 2021. We already discussed in series. Uh, imagine a very long solenoid. This is a long solenoid and and uh, actually I cannot solve this question at this moment. I just uh, tell you that this this angular momentum come actually because. The magnetic field is reduced because the current is reduced, so magnetic field is reduced. So the magnetic field energy also reduced. So this reduced energy converted into the momentum. So in in just uh, few, I can write down the reduction of magnetic energy energy converted converted. Into angular angular momentum angular momentum. Okay. Next question, which says consider a parallel plate capacitor and its plates in the form of the circular discs and space between them is filling with the homogeneous weakly conducting sigma and permittivity epsilon. 
and alternative electric field a equal to e0 cos omega t is applied across the plate so the magnitude of the magnetic field a is between the plates at distance r is given like that so the displacement current density is like that and the conduction current is so total current density is summation of these two one and ampere's law says that this one so h is obtained like that i think you can do this very well easy and this is the question consider the uh, circuit parallel plate this two are the radius is r charge q separated distance d find the stored energy in density u uh, electric field is uniform calculate induced magnetic field pointing vector and so this relation value so the uh, electric uh, energy density this is magnetic energy density so total energy is like that so energy density is like that and this is equal to electric energy only no magnetic energy because there is uh, no conduction current here no sigma no uh, e is uniform since e is uniform since e is uniform so daily delta is zero so magnetic field also zero right so pointing vector also zero and this is valid next things the electric field is like that so find the magnetic field so we have the maxwell equation curl of e equal to del v del t so taking this curl of electric field and integrating with respect to time will be obtained this magnetic field expression plot these things i cannot plot these things at this moment if you want you can try it uh, with the help of these things next things uh, consider this question uh, uh, this is also question of uh, 2021 we already discussed in this series uh, this is the electric uh, field in this two uh, two electric field evaluate magnetic field and then energy density is and prove that one so these two are so a is nothing but sum of these two things and b is 1 by c k, k cross e so you will be often this one and then calculate time average of energy density so this is electrical energy density and taking the time average and similarly for magnetic energy and sum of these things after that the pointing vector is the call of these things and the relation also valid but there is a some problem stick in this okay so that's it for today we will be discussed in the next video thank you